Hi everyone, uh, thanks for picking um, what is a flip classroom. Uh, today I'm going to uh, show you what a flip classroom is and the uh, principles of successful flip classroom and hopefully I can share some um, knowledge with you and inspire you to use flip learning in your class. Um, to start off with I want us to start thinking about this quote by John Bergman and he says that flip learning allows teachers to do what they do best and that's to help students learn. Flip learning is all about engaging students with active learning in the classroom. Why is it flipped? Because students at home do the teaching of the subject content. It's the passive learning. When they come into class, it's the active learning. I'm gonna show you what that means, what it looks like, um, and hopefully, like I said at the start, inspire you to use this in your classroom. Um, so what is a flipped classroom? There's no um, agreed definition. This is one I've made up myself. Uh, but it's a method of teaching where students have already taught themselves the subject knowledge and bring to class questions about their learning. Like I said, students go away, they watch videos about the subject knowledge, they make notes, they take Cornell notes, they summarize what you've said, and when they come into class, that's where we teach them active learning activities. So um, this is a picture of my daughter. She's come home from school. Um, she asked me if she could draw a rocket. I said, yep, yeah, here's a bit of paper. She sat down, she went, how do I draw it? I said, I don't know. So what she did, she got the iPad. Uh, she uh, looked up a YouTube video about how to draw a rocket and off she went. The reason why this learning is personalised is because the function of the pause and the play button on YouTube. That allows learning to become personalised because students can go at their own pace, they can stop, they can rewind, they can watch a series of instructions over and over again, something that as teachers in the classroom we can't do. That's why students being spoon fed information doesn't challenge them. What happens when um, you say something and they don't hear you? or they don't have time to copy down the information or they're distracted. That's why the way students learn is totally changing and we've got to use the technology available and the different teaching methods to address that. So um, flip learning, it's not about spoon feeding information to the students, it's about challenging them and it's personalized. Um, is flip learning learned? Absolutely not. Um, it's based on the method of classic teaching. And I'm not talking about, you know, um, 1950s. I'm talking about ancient Greece, um, where um, students did their own learning. They came together in small groups and discussed, challenged, argued um, what they had, had been taught. Um, so it's not new learning. Um, where it is new is the use of technology and videos. That's the new part of it. Um, Basically, flip learning allows students to be the leaders of their own learning and teachers a challenge the student's point of view. That's what flip learning is all about. Um, making a video must be hard. I hear people um, already questioning and asking, well, actually it's easy. Um, everyone has the technology to do it. A lot of people have got iPhones. It's got a recall function. As you can see from this video, it's not great. Um, the quality isn't great. It's but students really respect that and um, they don't expect Hollywood produced videos. Um, they forgive mistakes in the videos, which I'm sure you guys won't. And when I come into school the next day, I'm sure you'll be picking up on the errors that I've made, my spellings, my, my um, how I talk and so on. Um, but the video shouldn't be no more than seven minutes long. And that's really crucial. Um, I hear some people say, oh, kids won't watch the video. Well. That's how you've got to change the, cl the culture of your classroom. Students react to positive change. And if you say this is for you guys, this is how we're going to change. Um, give me some feedback. Tell me how the videos go. Students will definitely um, start reacting to it. I've already seen a big change in year 12. I've tried it with some of the skills in year 10 for the heart for the yearly exam. I've seen big changes kids are getting stuff that traditionally got wrong in, with map skills. It's the same in year seven. Um, if, the kids, if, the, if the kids don't watch the video when they come to class, well, get them to watch it in class. 
um, it's totally up to you. However, if you've got a good group of kids um, who are watching the video, your, your lessons are engaging, those kids who haven't watched the videos will want to watch it. Um, let's see, give it a try. We've got a few weeks left of school. Try and get a video done before the end of the year. All right, well, that's the end of the video. As I'm coming up to my seven minute mark. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've given um, you some thought and um, try some videos. Come see me if you need a hand with any videos or using YouTube um, and I can try and uh, help the uh, help you out. Um, Sinead now is going to show you a little activity called Quiz Quiz Trade. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.